Hello. Hello. What? Hey, kids. All right, I'm gonna make these now. Sit down with you. Hey, Jacob. Uh, everybody comes in. Okay, hey. Hey, Bailey. Gemma, Kaylee. like a rack I just caught up like five seconds ago. to come on in. I don't know how his lips don't get numb. <laughs> you guys all have a pencil and a paper for me? Oh. Yeah, we yeah. did. Alright. Oh. Nobody oh. on there to see you. <laughs> Look at his little belly hanging out. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I have a whole lot of paper. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I have like yeah. Oh, all right. I see the wealthy finally coming in. There we go. What do I do? What? Get a question. What? Yeah, the game. Well, you have to do a Guys, double wants to be the star of the show. So if you see me turn around, I'm just talking about it. Oh. Look at Miss Melty has her glasses. On. Oh, what's that? What? Somebody was. Oh, it's a little river going. What's Ryan doing? <laughs> oh. No. So how is everybody's week? Good. Good. We didn't have a stellar week here. Right. All right. Where's Ruben? Can you go help him? Oh, I got that. a piece of paper or pencil. All right. You guys ready to start? Yes. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to start. Are the Buckmans awake? Yes. <laughs> I'm not awake. 
like life. one of the only days besides my Bible study day that I have to actually set an alarm. <laughs> what Bible study day? What Bible study day? I'm definitely not a white mom. Oh, it's a, it's a group that I do on Wednesday mornings. It's called BSF. So. Is it a grown-up Bible study group? It is. And <laughs> the last one is this Wednesday, actually. Are you going to do another one? Uh, Well, in the fall, it'll start back up. Well, we should be at church by then, hopefully, right? I, I hope so. I hope, hope. so. <laughs> okay. All right. Everybody's got their piece of paper and pencil? Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> We're going to find out. All right. So, how's it going? Everybody's good, right? Yep. All right. So, my name is Nikki. And welcome to your virtual jump. Here comes Carly. All right. So, y'all, if your phone start ringing. All right. So, all month long, we're talking what it means to turn things up side down right and let me get this going share all right so we're turning things upside down all month long with humility and humility is da, 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 putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve so it's not always easy for us to choose to be humble, but remember, we know what humility looks like because of Jesus. And Jesus is the son of God, but he gave his life for us, each of us. That means Bailey, Gemma, Jacob, everybody. He gave his life for each one of us on the cross. We can follow his example by turning things upside down and putting others before ourselves. So I've got another fun upside down game for us to play today. So here's what's gonna happen. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna put a picture on the screen, all right? And you'll have, since we've got plenty of time, we, um, I'll give you two minutes, all right? I'll give you two minutes to do your very best to draw the picture. Does that sound easy enough? All right, shake your head up and down or no for, okay. So, but there is an upside down twist to it. And you need to draw the picture upside down. You either need to get yourself upside down. Naomi, can you show them how to go upside down? Yeah. You can either, I'd be really impressed if Kaylee Kennedy were to do a handstand upside down and draw is what I would be impressed about. But she's going to get on the couch upside down and she's going to draw upside down like that. You see her? Uh, and she'll look at the screen to see what the picture is. You can sit back up. All right. Or you can just choose <laughs> wouldn't an upside down handstand be standing up <laughs> right? <laughs> Good job, Courtney. So wouldn't an upside down handstand be standing up, Nikki? That's kind of true. Well, anyways, <laughs> backtrack. If I put the picture up on the screen and all you want to, if you want to sit up straight and you don't feel comfortable going upside down, you would have to actually draw the picture upside down. Like say there's a tree on the screen. So I would be like, here's the trunk. Here's the leaves. You would actually draw it upside down. So if you choose to stay right side up, you've got to draw your picture upside down. Make sense? Give me a thumbs up if it makes sense. <laughs> make sense? All right. Well, I'm going to unmute you guys. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get the picture ready. We've got plenty of time, so there's no rush. So on your mark, is everybody ready? Yes. Yeah. I heard one yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, here we go. Here we go. All right. I'm going to share that. There's your picture. Okay. You either go upside down or you draw it upside down. How do you do that? 
What's that, Jacob? I'm going to go down. Uh, Kaylee's upside down. Kaylee's upside down. I don't have anything to turn upside down on. <laughs> I don't know. I can't draw upside down. I don't know how to. I've got Naomi upside down. Ruben, you aren't even looking at the picture. Dude. You need to be starting drawing. I need, I need to actually turn on my camera. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good. I miss making fun of you so much, Miss <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I miss church so much. Oh, I I anybody got their trees drawn upside down yet? Yeah. Yeah. One more minute. Let me see. Oh, I see the road. I see a tree and the bench. Good job. Colton, let me see yours. You're frozen, Eliza. Colton, are you there? As soon as you guys are in, oh, get it closer, Colton. There you go. Go up a little bit. <laughs> there you go. All right, Bailey, let me see yours. Oh, yep, there's the bench. I see a tree, very good. Jacob, are you there? You're bouncing around. Let me see your picture, Jacob. <laughs> Let me see, oh, good job. All right, Gemma, where are you, girlfriend? Where's your picture? Good job. All right, Gentry, bring it closer. Oh, I see it. The upside down tree. Oh, and there's the buildings. Okay, Addie, did you do it? Get a little closer. There you go. Okay, yep. Addie's one of our fifth graders. Yeah, I can tell by the drawing. All right, Eliza Kirtley. <laughs> You're frozen. There you go. Oh, okay, there you go. I saw the trees. All right, Kaylee Kennedy, you were upside down. Let me see yours. There we go. Okay. Bracken, did you do it? Get 
Get it closer, Bracken. Little my little shy. There you go. Oh, Carly, did you log on in time to do the game? <laughs> all right, guys. Great job. You guys are all budding upside down artists. So cool. <laughs> all right, so. Oh, Bailey also did the buildings too. Good job, Bailey. Yeah. Um, it's hard for me to see you guys are in tiny squares, so. Yeah. All right. I'll put the details on the bell bricks. <laughs> All right. Well, I. <coughs> okay, we're spending time to sit up. Oh, my kids. Did you guys want to see my kids? I'm sorry. I always forget that they're right behind me. Here's Rebecca. <laughs> or I don't know which way she was supposed to do it. That's Rebecca. Ruben. Oh, Naomi, uh, Naomi, I think Naomi's head was getting a little lightheaded, maybe. <laughs> all, right. all right, well, you guys all did awesome. So we are going, Miss Courtney is going to tell us the story today. So I'm going to go ahead and mute everybody but Courtney. So, can you? And on, where are you, Courtney? Are you, oh, there you are. Almost stopped your video, Courtney. <laughs> I muted my shit. I was talking to you just muted. <laughs> so at the end of the story today, I'm gonna try something really fun. So make sure that you're listening so that we can do it, okay? So the story today is called The Road to Emmaus. Is that right, Nikki? Yep. Okay. So just after Jesus died on the cross and came back to life, two of his followers, what are his followers called? Anybody? Raise your hand if you know. Disciples. You remember what they're called? Disciples. I saw you say it. I saw your mouth. Disciples. Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. They're called his disciples. So you need to remember that word for the thing that we're going to do later. So two of his followers were traveling to a village called Emmaus that's right outside of Jerusalem. So this journey would have been about seven miles long. So seven miles long isn't really far. Like if you're traveling in a car down like a highway, that would take you like seven minutes. But what was different about all this time ago? Could they, did they travel in a car? Did they travel on a bike or a scooter or a hoverboard? <laughs> those things no, no. Board. walk right they were walking the whole way all seven miles that does not sound like anything I would like to do so as they walked they were talking about everything that had happened with how Jesus had just died on the cross right they were talking about it they had heard how Jesus had been arrested how he had died on the cross and they were hearing rumors that Jesus had come back to life they talked about everything they had heard and they wondered if it could possibly be true because to hear about somebody dying on the cross and then coming back to life would that be really hard to believe uh-huh that's a crazy story isn't it like you that would be hard to believe if you didn't be a little past cutie pie right here and <laughs> <clears throat> these two cutie pies act out the story okay so um this one right here is gonna be how did you say it cleopas cleopas this one's cleopas right here okay and then this person right here is jesse okay so we have cleopas and jesse Okay, so we don't know the other disciples' name from what Luke wrote in the Bible, so he's just Jesse. So, Cleopas with the red hair, and this is Jesse over here, okay? So, um, these two, Cleopas and Jesse, were just walking. So, could y'all walk, please? They were just walking. Oh, that's such great walking. <laughs> so, now, as they were walking and talking, Jesus came up and walked alongside them. So, that's Jesus walking. But God kept the two men from recognizing Jesus. So to these two people, to Cleopas and Jesse, Jesus just looked like a stranger. They couldn't recognize him. They didn't know who he was. Right? So Jesus asked them, what are you talking about as you walk along? 
And to be honest, Cleopas and Jesse couldn't believe that this stranger didn't know anything about Jesus. That they were so shocked. They were so shocked that these two people didn't know anything about Jesus. So Cleopas said, am I the only person visiting Jerusalem who doesn't know? Don't you know about the things that have happened here in the last few days? And so Jesus said, what things? So Jesus is being a little like, what are you talking about, right? So the two men went on and just explained everything that had, that had happened. They said, about Jesus of Nazareth. He was a prophet. He was powerful in what he said and did in the sight of God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed over to be sentenced to death. They nailed him to a cross, right? So then they kept saying, but we had hoped that he was going to be the one day since all of this happened. Women, too, early this morning, they went to the, where did they go? Went to the tomb, but they didn't find his body. So they came and told us what they had seen. They saw angels who said Jesus was alive. Then some of our friends went to the tomb. They saw it was empty just as the women had said. They didn't see Jesus's body there. So this was pretty wild. Cleopas and Jesse were just going on and on about Jesus. And they were actually talking to Jesus, but they didn't know it. They didn't have any clue. So these two are still walking because remember it's seven miles. Seven miles are still walking. Okay, so Jesus took a minute then to help them understand some things. Jesus reminded them of the scriptures they had heard since they were children. He reminded them of the words that had been written thousands of years before that told how Jesus would be born, suffer, and die. He was trying to help them understand that he, Jesus, was the Savior who had been promised so long ago. So finally, they arrived at the village where they were going. They're done walking now. They arrived at the village. The two men asked Jesus to stay, and he agreed. Of course, they still didn't go to Jesus until he took the bread and gave thanks. So he broke the bread and started giving it to them. And then immediately after he did that, God opened their eyes, and they could see that it was Jesus. How do you think they felt after they had just walked seven miles with Jesus? Let me see your faces. Yeah, they were like, what? Oh my goodness. They were so confused. Like, how did that work? How did that happen? So, but as soon as they recognized that it was Jesus, he disappeared right in front of their eyes. The men said, he explained to us what the scriptures meant. Weren't we excited as he talked with us on the road? Basically, they were like, how did we not know it was Jesus? He said everything. He explained everything to us. They were so excited to know they had been with Jesus. They ran to tell everyone. They ran to tell everyone. <laughs> they ran to tell everyone. <laughs> oh, um, okay, you're done. Bye. <laughs> So they ran to tell everyone. So give these two a big hand for their walking and running in our on our couch. Like great job, guys. So um, Cleopas and Jesse raced back to Jerusalem and told the disciples what had happened. They said they had seen Jesus, and now they knew for sure that it was true. Jesus was alive. They were amazed to discover how much bigger God's story was than they had ever imagined. It's so that's the thing, isn't it? That's our bottom line. There's always more to discover about God's plan. God's plan is so much bigger than we can see. Sometimes things happen that we don't understand, but we can trust that God is in control and that his plans for us are always good. Okay, so let's pray and ask God to help us trust him. Let's pray. Good job. Dear God, thank you so much for giving us the Bible so we can learn more about you and your big story. Sometimes we feel like the two men in the story, like we're trying to make sense of things that have happened when we don't quite understand. Help us to remember that there is always more to discover about your plan. Help us to trust you no matter what. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
So, you know, sometimes humility means that you've got to admit when you don't know something. No one has it all figured out. Like us adults, we don't even have it all figured out. So we need God's help to be able to understand things that happen in our lives. So think about the two men who were walking down the road together. They had heard what had happened with Jesus, but they didn't understand it. They couldn't see the big picture. When Jesus came alongside them, he helped them connect. Like, we are never done learning, you guys, ever. So um, there is always more to discover about God's plan. And it's fun to imagine what Jesus told the men on the road that day. And maybe he explained how God created the world and everything in it. And maybe he explained that all of us have done wrong things and our sin separates us from God. Maybe he talked about the prophets and how they told everyone that the Savior was coming to rescue his people. Maybe Jesus explained that he had never come to die on the cross. And pay. Maybe he, Jesus explained that he had come to die on the cross and pay the price for our sins so that we can have a relationship with God that lasts forever. We don't really know, though. But what we do know is that the two men were so excited because Jesus had helped them understand God's big story. They couldn't wait to tell everyone that he was really alive. So there's always more to learn about math, science, social studies, art, and definitely about God. So always be ready to learn more who God is and how much he loves you. So there's always more to discover about God's plan and learning more about him is always the wise choice. Right? So we are going to shoot it over to Courtney who's going to try again. Okay, so give me a thumbs up if you've ever played Kahoot in your classroom, like with your teacher. Thumbs up if you've ever played Kahoot. Gemma, you have Bokting, I know you have for sure at Spotsville. Addie, have you? Haley, you haven't? Thank you. You guys ever you? Or, 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 or. I don't know. I bet you have. Like, Haley, have you? Okay, so Kahoot is like a like a quiz game, kind of. Okay, it's lots of fun. I love it. So we're gonna try it, see how it goes. So you need a different device, so you can play it on like a smartphone or an iPad or a tablet. If you have a different device, then I'm gonna show you how you can do it on here too, okay? The question is gonna be on my screen and you're gonna have to pick the answers on your screen, okay? So if you have like a phone or an iPad or a tablet or a different device, then you can get that out. But if you don't, then I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? So, Nikki, if I click on share, does my screen just pop up? Good. Okay. One thing, we have to download we gotta get the We got to get the hoop. Hold on. I got to meet it. I got to meet everybody breaking up. Um, what did you say? When I click on share, it says host disabled participant screen share. Oh, Rob disabled that for me because Jesse freaked me out one day. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, do you have the questions? Because I could throw it up. If you text me the questions, I can throw it up. Well, it's like a oh, like you have to have that be the host. Um, there's a way. Let me see if I can make you a, a host. Okay. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. Nikki. So if you have a different device, be getting that right now while Miss Nikki's getting us ready. If you don't, I'll show you. What? What do we need? He's already ready. Do I have to download an app? No. I don't. No, you don't have to download the app. You can just go to um, what? To what who got I, I was at the bathroom. Got it on my phone. Oh, Bailey needs to know what to do. She had a she had to do a break real quick. I'm gonna put the pin in the chat so like Kaylee's ready. So okay, six nine three. What's that say, Jake? Six nine six. Okay. Wait, what device do I need to get? Any you have anything? And you go to dot it. There you go. 
Might be able to now. We got I don't know what to do. Okay, so Miss Nikki said I can share now. So let me go to my screen. Maybe. Do we need like a tablet or something? I'm in! If you have one, you have to have one. So you can also, you can also make your screen. So look at my screen. Okay, you gotta watch. Make your screen small. Well, open up another tab. We're gonna have to be able to see my screen. Because she's gonna ask the questions on here, and then you gotta pick like the square or the circle or the triangle or the oh, color. Okay. What it is. Six nine three five seven three. Six nine three five. Seven, three. Basically, you need internet access. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Mom's dead, Nick. All right, I'm in. All right, put that. There we go. Bracket, are you playing? Mom's dead, Nick. Better get in here. Good talk. Good talk. Good talk. If we go past 40 minutes, Courtney, it'll kick us off, just so you know. It's oh, downloading. Where are we? It'll kick us off. What will? If we go over 40 minutes. So. Oh, oh, oh. How many minutes are we at right now, Nikki? Do you know? Uh, we started at 9.45, so we're about 32-ish minutes. So. Okay. Okay, I think we started, I think. Is that everybody? Yeah, I think it's only. Yeah, we are. We're hooked. Looks like you got 10 players on your cahoots. Over here, Brad. Okay, I'm starting it. Everybody ready? We're ready. Yeah. Excited for you to see this, Nikki, if you've never played it before. I know. I'm so ready. Okay. Yeah, this is right here. Hey. Okay. Two people meet. Did they meet me and you? Mom. Did they meet Jesus? Did they meet Mom? Or let me meet you? Did they meet? Pick it. Hurry. Who did the two people meet? Just got done. And then the faster you answer, if you get it right, you win. Oh, okay. Yeah. We met Jesus, clearly. Good job, everybody. Patty K in the lead. Gotta be fast. When did they recognize that this was real? When did they realize that it was Jesus? What did he do that made them realize? At 12 p.m. after math, when he took the bread or when he sang a song about God, he Good job. Yeah, when he took the bread and broke it, their eyes were opened. Oh, sorry. I where were these people going? Where were they going? Miles from Jerusalem called him. We have to type in a nickname. The name of the story should help you with this. Get off the dog. Oh, yeah, they weren't going to Jerusalem. Remember, they were going to Emmaus. They walked seven whole miles. You have to go fast. Patty K, back in the week. How did, How did they, they react? This one's kind of tricky. Yeah, we got them. Remember, they were like, "Wait, what? I thought you were dead. What?" How did they react after they? If you put OMG, I would definitely take that. Uh, they definitely were like, what? They were confused. Yeah, they were like, how does that happen? You just died on the cross. Well, fuck the families in the league. Why didn't approach them? Why didn't they recognize Jesus? They didn't have faith. They believed they were dead. They were blind. 
Jesus was a ghost. Oh, Jake. Jake. You gotta go back. Right. Find me a peer of genius. Do I know you? <laughs> yeah, they didn't have faith. They believed that he was dead. They couldn't yeah. know him. Wine. Wine. No, they were walking seven miles. Oh, the answers in a row. How would you describe what was happening? How would you describe Look, what they were doing? What was, I was our walking whole story? with Jesus when he appeared like a goat? He appeared like a goat. Oh, they walking with disciples and they didn't know. They were on their way to the and he appeared. Or they were just hanging out. They were hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. I just guessed it as I was. Nobody pushed it. Buckman family still in the lead. Yes. Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Because it had to. I was happening so that we could live. Or Jesus wanted to see if we could recognize him. What do you think? I don't want to go with you. I think you're right, Jake. Ooh, when gotcha. was it? Jesus wanted to see if we could recognize him. Jesus that wanted to see faith and could recognize him. That one got us. Okay, last question. Why were the disciples confused when this appeared to them? They believe Jesus was dead. They believe Jesus yes. was hanging with them. They believe Jesus was alive. Or I don't care. What? I think it was I don't care. I'm All right. Get it. Yay! Good job. <laughs> yes, so they didn't have anything. Okay, awesome. Let's go. Third place. Izzy. Way to go, Izzy. In second place, Addie. Yes, and in first place, we seven out of eight. Correct. The Buckman family. Whoa, way to go. Horrible mentions down here. Kaylee These are fun. Yeah. Hold on, let me fix my mic. Is Nikki, was that fun? Did you I like that? Fun. I like that. Yeah. Okay, that's all I got. So, right, well, since you're the host, you have to end the meeting. It's in your right hand corner. Everybody, say goodbye. Thanks for supporting. Bye. 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 Bye.